Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at red flags in men. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. When I worked at KFC, there was a girl whose boyfriend would stay parked outside the door during her entire shift. That is not something I've seen commonly and it's a huge red flag. Yeah, it should not be something you see commonly. Why would he stay for her entire shift? Does he like not have one little bit of trust in her? Whew. If your partner can't even trust you to go to work, don't stay with them. If he's a jerk to your friends or other people, but can also be excessively charming. Oh, the psychopath move. <laughs> dudes who try to humiliate other dudes in front of women. Also related to dudes who backstab and talk bad about other dudes to look better in front of women. Yeah, that's just so unattractive. Inability to apologize. If you do something wrong, just apologize. That just makes you really attractive. Angry drunk. Oh, that's the scariest. I love a guy who's happy drunk, you know, just laughing, just laughing at everything. Someone who can't accept your accomplishments. Don't be with someone who feels the need to compete with you or can't accept that you've accomplished your goals. My wife is a doctor. I'm an idiot. I asked her what made her want to marry me. She said, you took time to praise my accomplishments and made me feel important all while struggling yourself. Oh, this is the type of guy you should find. Men who can't appreciate your accomplishments, they're just baby. Someone who is unable to joke about themselves. <laughs> they're no fun. All women, they just want someone who can make them laugh. Temper and inability to control it. Ooh, guys with a temper, that's scary. If you have to defend him with a phrase like, oh, but when he's just with me, it's different. Or, but you don't see him when he's nice. <gasps> the thing with love is that sometimes you're just so blind. This is why when you first get into a relationship, your friends should meet your partner too, you know? Because they can see things that you don't see. And that's the good thing about having your friends there for you is that they can spot everything that you can't because you're just so in love and you just think they're so perfect, but they are literally judging them from head to toe to see if they are right for you. Very nice to you, but not others. Has a problem with you going out or hanging out with friends. If he has to be with you every time you do, etc., run. Yeah, that's a red flag. If they stop you from hanging out with your friends, yeah, that's not a good sign. If the personality changes after the first few months and you start to feel like you're walking on eggshells most days, there is a good chance they have masked who they really are and were only being who they think you want them to be. This can be a sign of an emotional abuser and you will hold on to the true them, believing they are just going through something and you can bring them back to how it was. You can't run. <gasps> wow. Oh, I read somewhere where it was like, if you're like seeing someone and they're already being like bad or like they're already showing red flags, just run because if they're already showing red flags so early on, it's not gonna get better. Early on, most people wanna mask who they really are, you know? They're trying to be like a lot nicer than who they actually are. So if they're already being like rude and mean during like the first times that you've met them, yeah, it's not gonna get better. They're not gonna suddenly become nicer in the relationship. No. If he's cheating on someone else with you, he'll cheat on you too. <gasps> this one. I don't understand how a lot of people don't get this. Obviously, if he's cheating on his partner with you, if he finds someone else better than you, he's gonna leave you and go to that someone else. Cheaters are like that. They don't care if they're hurting someone's feelings. They just care about themselves. If he doesn't return the cart when grocery shopping. <laughs> True, honestly. That just shows how inconsiderate he is. It's like the little things that show you the personality of someone. If he's rude to like waiters or waitresses, yeah, nah. If his last girlfriend tries to earnestly warn you, she may actually be warning you. Mm. Just experienced this myself. His ex-girlfriend reached out to me several months ago and warned me he is dangerous and that he lies about everything and to be careful. Naturally, I dismissed her as a jealous ex-girlfriend and I held him tighter. So anyway, yeah, my court date to make my restraining order against him permanent is this Monday. All I have to show from my relationship is gross bruises and now I'm finding more comfort and understanding from his jealous ex-girlfriend than I am from my own friends. Wow, that's so nice of his ex-girlfriend to like actually try to warn her though. 
because she doesn't want her to go through the same thing that she did. If you are feeling unwanted and unloved and you are thinking about breaking up and then you try to bring it up and all of a sudden he starts being everything you wanted to only go back to being distant and cold, you have yourself a love bomber. It's awful. The amount of people who fall for this is sad because some people just get caught in this vicious cycle not knowing it's even happening. Oh right, like someone who shows you so much love and then once they have you, they just feel like they don't need to do anything anymore because they already got you. And then once you tell them that you want to leave them, they start doing that all over again. And then their real self shows again. And then you want to leave and then they do the whole love bombing thing again. It's ridiculous. Be careful of men who blame every failed relationship on the ex. Not only will you be the next bad story, but he likely doesn't have accountability. So true. The problem is always them. It's never the ex, okay? It's just something about them that they just can't find within themselves that they keep looking for someone to fill their hole. But it's just them. Okay, they need to fix it themselves. It's never the ex's problem. They're the problem. Just in general, when someone shows you who they are, believe them. Oh, wow, so many people need to hear this. I feel like a lot of people were just always like, nah, I'm pretty sure he's a good person. I'm pretty sure he was just in a bad mood that day. Yeah, if they're willing to show you who they are as a person, <laughs> believe it. The big ones have been mentioned. No sense of humor, possessiveness, temper. I'd also add lack of intellectual curiosity. They don't need to be super smart, but they should be interested in the world around them, in ideas, and most of all, in you. Yes, I just want someone to be interested in me, you know, me. If he's getting out of a relationship while trying to start one with you, you will never be sure when he begins one with someone else while still in one with you so true if they don't respect you any indication get away mm. this one is a big one if they love you they will respect you well that's it for the video hope you guys enjoy tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are and as always thanks for watching hope you guys liked it and i'll see you guys next time bye